Hello students, hope you all are well. I am Nitin and today we will be discussing the culturing and processing of clinical samples. Under the title Collection, Transport and Culturing of Clinical Samples. This is part 2 of our previous session. So let's start with culturing and processing of samples. Once received in the lab, specimen should continue to be handled with the use of standard precautions. Strict adherence to such precautions decreases the likelihood of exposure to blood-borne pathogens as well as pathogens being sought in the specimens and those that are clinically not suspected. Although most cultures can be plated safely on a standard lab bench, many microbiologists prefer setting up cultures in a biological safety cabinets. This is mandatory for the specimens that may contain mycobacterium tuberculosis. Once pathogens are propagated in the lab, there is a further risk of developing a lab-acquired infection. Etiologic agents of a particular risk include mycobacterium tuberculosis, brucella, Yersinia pestis. Cultures containing one of these agents should be processed only in class 2 biological safety cabinets under biosafety level 3 conditions. According to the organisms and cultures, the SOP should be followed. Next is culture media and reagents. In general, most samples are inoculated on sheep blood agar medium. For normally sterile samples from the respiratory tract, and the genital tract, ear, conjunctival exudate, superficial, deep wounds and abscesses, a chocolate agar plate is added. There are specific media for certain pathogens such as BCYE medium, Granada agar, BCSA medium, Helicobacter agar. Most selective media use organic compounds and dyes as selective chemical toxins on certain bacteria. Likewise, the use of antibiotics included in the medium alone or in combinations facilitates the suppression of the growth of a type of bacteria. Some components allow the differentiation of pathogens in a specific way according to metabolic reactions that are expressed as pH changes and in other cases, these reactions produce colors, changes in the colonies grown in chromogenic medium. Liquid enrichment media such as thioglycolate broth or brain herd infusion broth will be used in sterile samples, superficial wounds, deep wounds and abscesses. Media for anaerobes such as blood agar for anaerobes laked blood with canamycin and vancomycin agar or bacteroides bile esculin agar will be used in abscesses, biopsies, wounds and sterile liquids. Well, this is all about the collection, transport and culturing of clinical samples. I hope this video would be helpful for you all. I am grateful to Ajna ma'am for all the support and motivation in the development of medical microbiology video series. I am also thankful to you all for watching and appreciating our videos. Please subscribe to the channel Mentorship Towards Short Abundance. Keep learning and stay healthy. See you soon. Thank you.